Good morning, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and you can too. You'll see I have a different background today completely. That's because we are in the hotel in D.C. My appointment is at 12.30 today, and it's right now 9.16, so I've got a few hours till we need to be there. Um, so everybody's doing their showers and stuff except me. I took mine yesterday before we left because it's always a hassle trying to take one in the hotel. Anyway, I just wanted to say good morning and uh, wanted to say that we are hopeful, but that we're not going to let our hopes get, get deterred if there's something that does not work out the way we would like it to at today's appointment because we know God's will and timing is perfect and good and just, and that's honestly in the core of my being, that's what I want. However, I really want to be able to start treatment and do some healing work, even though it's going to mean, you know, feeling worse before better with the hurricane and everything. But we'll try to take you guys along today as we can. And I hope you all are having a great day, whatever day it is that you're watching this. If not, remember that the very next moment of whatever time you're watching this, you can choose to make it a great day. You can choose joy because that's what I do every day, all day, just to keep myself sane. All right. I'll see you guys later. Guys, we are out in D.C. and it's loud and cold, but we're getting ready to cross the street to go to my doctor's. Right there. All right, guys, we are here at the office. I've got my different color to what you think you can't do shirt on. And we're just waiting for Dr. J to come in. Um, yeah, I guess there's not really much else to say right now other than we're here. I'm trying to push through quite a bit of pain right now, although it's very bright, so I'm having to wear my sunglasses. So hopefully I'll be able to push through that a little bit as well and put my regular glasses on. But we're here, and now we're just waiting. Do, 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 do. It's not your birthday. It's Dr. Chipsick. Okay. Yes. Bye. Hey, guys. Wait, where is it? I don't see it. Well, oh, there's. We got a motorcade that, that was there somewhere. Yeah, he's, he turned his lights gone. off. Oh well. Hanging. Raj and I were like, "What are all these millennials doing hanging out at this random place?" And then, oops, it's a bus stop. But let's see. But they're not getting on it. Oh, get your bike on, policeman. Guess they're too woke to they, to, uh, to ride a bus. Too woke to ride a bus. Lame. And I will show you this truck that we've been behind, just because I've never seen anything like it. I believe, with a picture of a Yeti and the word Yeti. That's all. Did I already tell you guys it was a good appointment? I think I did, but in case I didn't, it was a good appointment. I'll elaborate more in another vlog um, when I can sit down and think through it straight to explain to y'all. But we hit rush hour traffic coming out of Washington, D.C., and let me tell you guys... That was not fun. However, now we're in the carpool lane like ballers. Yeah. So we just feel like there's like all this traffic, and since we're technically two people in a car, we can go in the carpool lane. So here is our lane, and there's the tr well. It's not that well, bad it's now. It's not that impressive right now. <laughs> no, it was bumper to bumper a little minute ago, and we were just zooming past with like like a boss. Or like a dogs. No, Always. Alright, see you guys later. Okay guys, so we had to stop so Raj could get something to eat, but I can't go in the restaurant because it smells like food. And we really gotta find somewhere like a rest area or something so I can go to the bathroom. But that's okay. <sighs> Just gotta pray we can find one without air freshener or cleaner smells. Anyway, wanted to show you Raj sitting right in front of me while he's eating. So he can keep an eye on me and make sure nobody comes and kills me. Look at him, he's a cutie. That's all for now.